All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So what I want to get into today is asking you the question, what is your body morphing into? I'm not sure if I'm going to use that as the title, but you know, I don't think a lot of people realize when it comes to their body, there's no end destination. Like your body is continuously changing and evolving and morphing. Um, even if, say, for instance, you look the same way or you're the same weight, it's constantly changing, I'm telling you. You might be able to tell that through your eyes, for instance, as you're getting older, right? Your teeth, maybe that may be changing. Something's going on there. Uh, aches and pains, right? You just feel different. And this can go for any age, right? You're, you know what's quite interesting? Because I'm such a weirdo with this stuff. Is, you know, you start off as a baby and obviously you're growing, you're you know, you're just keep changing. You're always changing, right? And it's all of a sudden you hit a certain point where maybe in your late teens or somewhere you stop growing and you think it's over. Like this is it, right? It's never over. Your body, the weight fluctuating again, right? It could be changing. It could be gaining weight. It could be losing weight at times. All these things, even the way you feel a lot of times, you know, physically is what I should, I should say, not mentally. And the reason I want to talk about this subject is because I've kind of been obsessed with throughout my life, not realizing it, constantly changing and testing myself physically. Some good, some bad. I, I call it my own personal social experiment. Not sure where I get this crazy shit from, but I do do these things. And I've done it. And now that I'm, on my, I'm in my 50s, I still see myself doing this, which is crazy. I also kind of research what's happening with all the things I'm eating. I should probably do a video on that. But um, yeah, in this case though, oh look, I got my buddy Strong Arm Sports I just realized today. Boom. Hey, you get a chance, check out my buddy Strong Arm Sports, one of my sponsors, love that guy. I just noticed this here because I was shooting another video regarding it and I just forgot, wow. All right, cool. So what was I saying? Yeah, and he's all about fitness too. Just so you know, man, I'm, here's the thing. I'm going to just throw this in there real quick and I'm not bullshitting. If you like, you know, to try a different brand, something unique. And what's cool about him is if you get his clothes, he even shares your posts on Instagram and he has a huge following. So, you know, you could take multiple pictures of you working out and his stuff. And if you're a trainer or you're somebody in the fitness industry, uh, he'll give you a lot of attention. Okay. It's really cool. As far as that goes too. kind of, he helps self market if you help him as well. So it's a cool thing. But back to the body, food, different things I eat, I was testing. That includes junk food. I was not a guy who was obsessed with just still ain't. I kind of researched it, see how my body is reacting to certain things. I've always worked out through my life. Do you know anything about my videos or anything? Uh, yeah, I'm talking about that quite often. But it's not only about that. I've even gone a year without working out, uh, or I've worked out throughout the year, but I had a year where my daughter got sick and I wasn't able to work out. And I kind of seen what my body was changing and turning into, you know, even doing different types of workouts, whatever I can kind of fit in, which was really a quite interesting time in my life because after that, I really never looked at fitness the same way. What I did was, I was at a point, so if I'm, I was in my late twenties, I was always obsessed with getting huge and massive. So I got up to like 250, but after having kids and then I kind of dropped a lot of weight after her sickness, but then I, I really appreciated, I guess you could say having the opportunity to get healthy again, because I definitely did not feel healthy. I didn't feel healthy when I gained all that weight. Then I lost a lot of weight pretty quickly too, with her being sick and me not obviously eating as much or working out as much. And I kept thinking my daughter again, my God, you know, she's going through all these things. She has to have a liver transplant. And then look at me. I've been very fortunate with the genetics I've been given. I was able to take care of my body and kind of do whatever I wanted to a certain point. Uh, some good, some bad. And now look what she has to go through. She most likely, especially in the future, wouldn't be able to do that. And thank God to the, now she's in her 20s and she's in the fitness and all this. She's unbelievable. But at that point in time, you know, a lot of us, I think, take advantage of our bodies. I discuss that a lot. But back to morphing into certain things. You're going to be different now. And literally, I believe even a week, two weeks, three weeks, a 
it's not just because of age. It's because of what you're doing. It also could be because of an injury. It could be numerous amounts of things. Now, again, you may look very similar. I'm not going to say you don't look the same. You may look the same. But even cardio, for instance, so a lot of guys I know that say they're runners or say they play tennis, hypothetically, or something kind of a little lighter. I don't care if they golf, right? A lot of them stay in shape to a certain degree doing those things. Um, But say they stop, okay? A lot of times they look the same. They're not going to tell you, but they don't have that cardio. So even internally, what's their heart? What type of shape is that in? That's changing. All your organs, as the weeks go by, are changing. Are you hydrated correctly, right? Um, The foods you're eating, again, what are they doing to you internally? Now, I'm getting a little, I don't want to get really over the top because I don't like, like all that scientific stuff. I get it. I got friends that are geniuses, all obsessed with the body, the fitness, the food, nutrition, the whole thing. I get it. But let's just start with the basics because that's where I think it comes. That's what life a lot of times just comes down to. You as a human being or whatever the hell you want to be, I believe let's, if you need help with anything regarding your health, let's first start, I believe, you know, and I'm not a doctor and I shouldn't say if you have any health issues, this isn't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an average Joe there that either wants to gain muscle or lose weight. That's what I'm talking about. And let's first get to where you want to be weight wise. Now, here's the thing. You may not get to your destination. Now, I don't want you to quit, but a lot of people come up with these numbers. If you want to lose 50, I'm going to lose 50 pounds. They lose 30 and they're miserable. They didn't lose 50. Sometimes, you know, your body may be also telling you, hey, 30 pounds is good because I've been in situations or seen situations where people lost too much weight and instead of that helping them, it hurted them. It made them weaker, definitely not stronger. It didn't make them look any better. It made them look worse. Same with maybe gaining muscle, as you know, and that's a personal thing I get. It's a personal identity. But a lot of guys sometimes that want to get bigger, and I was one of these guys, then bigger and bigger. And before you know it, you're so big. Now you may look better in your eyes. Who cares what everybody else thinks? Health now. Health reasons I'm talking. What is that doing to your body? Also, can you maintain that? What are you doing to your skin? What are you doing to a lot of things? Um, Because most likely if you get real big, not everybody, most people can't hold that forever. So you stretch out and you stretch out and you get massive, right? I was teeter-tottering and I still have a lot of stretch marks when I was heavier. But I didn't go beyond. I didn't go into the 260, the 280. And I'm only 5'10", 5'9". If I would have done that and then like now I'm 195, 200, my skin I'm sure would have been destroyed. And my neck is kind of still destroyed from that. And my legs, because they got really big, I do kind of have stretch marks on the back and things in that nature. It changed, right? Now, just, and what really made me think of this is I got on the scale the other day. I fluctuate all the time. But in one day, and sometimes I could fluctuate seven, eight pounds in a day. I know a lot of people, you may may have that happen to you or not. It happens with me. I still eat kind of relatively a lot at times. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got on the scale yesterday, and normally say I'm 200, 201, whatever. Last night I got on, I'm like 194. And I didn't, I didn't do anything different. I don't know where that weight went. I was eating usually what I usually eat. Uh, I was working out very similar to what I worked out. And I'm like, where did six, and it looked like it was teeter-tottering almost on the 193 mark. And normally, like I said, I'm, one, I'm 200, 201. Sometimes I'm 203 or whatever. I'm like, where? And I weighed myself like a day or two ago. I'm like, where did that go? My body already just got rid of that weight. I have no idea. And I thought the scale was even off. I had my girlfriend get on it and she's like, it's cool. She didn't have any issue with it, I think. And it's just so interesting that things very quickly can change in your body. Sometimes for, again, the better, sometimes the worse, especially when it comes to injuries. All right. I always talk about the last thing I want you to do is injure yourself. That's very important. We want to stay healthy for the rest of our life. And I don't care what age you are. I wish people would have told me this. Um, Look, look towards the end a little bit in life. If you want to live to 70, 80, 90, and I know a lot of people like myself are like, hey, man, if I live past 30, that'll be unbelievable. Or I think if I lived in my 40s, that'll be great. You know, when you're in your 20s, you'll talk shit like that. And then you'll be like, oh, man, 50s old or whatever. Most people don't want to die. Most people want to have a good quality of life, especially if they get older. And 
you know, you really have to look at what you're doing now is going to affect when you're older. Kind of live in reverse a little. I do that a lot with stuff. If you were, you know, 60, 70, 80, and I know it's hard to comprehend, especially if you're younger, would you beat the shit out of your body the way you are? Maybe you will. But I think for the most part, you would take care of your body maybe differently than when you're younger. I was about beating the shit out of my body because I took it as kind of a, uh, a power thing, especially playing sports, especially with lifting weights, especially when doing anything. It was like if you were banged up, made you, you know, tougher. If I was extremely sore, made me, you know, know that I worked that muscle group or that area, which it did. But there did come a time and I'm paying a price a little now and I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help myself. Took a toll on those joints, tendons muscles, like even squatting lately. I squatted my whole life. Never really, never dogged legs. I was a, a leg animal, whatever the hell you want to call me. And, you know, now I go to squat. I'm squatting just 135 pounds. Now that's a big difference between repping out four or 500 pounds for, you know, eight, 10 sets. And I wrapped up a lot of times or even going up to 1500, uh, 1500 pounds in leg presses and stuff. I was nuts with this shit and maxing it out constantly, double, triple drop sets. I mean, hundreds of thousands of reps and I go to squat and I'm like, holy shit. It's, it's a lot of tension. It's not heavy. I could just feel everything cracking and I, I I'm in my fifties now, but t- me, when I kept going, I didn't think a lot about my fifties. What was I truly going to feel like? Was I going to feel better or worse? And my body, again, is morphing into something else. So just please pay attention to these type of things. And it goes for rest, all these things. I'm not going to get long-winded on that. But realize that probably what you are now, you are obviously not going to be in the future. As much as you may really think you are, because there are dudes out there that are very precise, stick at a certain weight, and I met a lot of these guys in California, man. Were they crazy with that shit? You know, certain body fat. What's my computer at here? Anyway, do this almost very similar workouts, right? They almost look identical. They look like a clone of themselves. Like they'll show a picture when they were 30, 50, and now they say they're 60 years old. I'm like, wow, you look amazing. You look really, really close. But I know it's not the same person. You're not physically or even mentally. You're not that person, all right? And, um, you know, you really got to pay attention to those things and try to really take care of yourself. All right. I'm going to wrap it up there, but don't forget your body. There's no end destination to what it's going to evolve into better or worse, but it's evolving. It's changing. Everything is changing constantly. The world is changing your body. (laughs) Everybody else around you is changing. People that sit around and say, you know what? You never changed or I never changed. They're full of shit. Everything changes. So take an honest approach on that. All right. All right. I'm going to wrap it up there. You get a chance. Um, check out strong arm sports, but also check out my, um, podcast or rich Chalenza show. Uh, also if you get a chance, subscribe, I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you agree or disagree, let me know, send a comment, an email. Um, yeah, I love hearing back from people. So, uh, take care and I wish you nothing but the best. Mm-hmm.